Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna try to play some new cards from OTJ and try to rank up in standard in platinum. It's been a rather brutal uh, day today. I tried to make uh, our new card of the day, the ancient uh, cornucopia, try to make it work um, <laughs> with Leyline, which is a card that was in the previous set that uh, you know makes everything the same color and so on so on and I thought Hey, if you play five colors, this is really good. It's a three-man artifact. Whenever you cast a spell that's one or more colors, you may gain life for each of that spell's colors. Do this only once each turn, and it taps for one mana. This isn't legendary, which means that if you have two or three of these open, the life can, can rack up rather quickly. And the problem with, you know, the... the World Soul Rage decks are that you die really fast, and... Yeah, I've already died, I think, 15 to 20 games today <laughs> trying to make this card work in a different deck, and I gave up, and uh, this is just uh, pretty much a carbon copy of the World Sword deck that is circulating if there's any, if it's still being played. But the goal is very simple, I think you've seen it before, using Nissa Resurgent Alanimus, which is a 3 mana 3 3 with landfall, which means an effect will take place when a land enters the battlefield. And uh, first you get a ma one mana of any color, then the second time you get to fetch uh, uh, an elemental or an elf card. Now we only have two elves, we have Nissa and we have uh, Aftermath Analyst, which is a card from Murder of Carlo Manor. Now this card and these two are the two pivotal cards that makes the whole deck work. So you play out a land and we have you know the, the the fetch lands and then they go fetch a basic and we get the other effect and we get you know aftermath endless which is a two mana one three enters the battlefield mill three cards so you get for four mana sacrifice it and return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped now that is a lot of mana together with this uh, the resurgent animus and with that mana we can then you know clear the board with ill Tied explosion, fetch. We either play the flashback or the actual card or deluge, or just make a ton of mana with virtuous strength. Virtuous strength can also fetch the creatures if you were to lose it. But the goal is very simple: you try to rank up, uh, rack up as much mana as you can, and then one shot them with the world's rage, which is two, which, which is gruel mana and X. It deals X damage to any target. Put up to one, up to X land cards from your hand uh, and or grave it onto the battlefield tapped. So you ramp out, and then the next one's going to be a lot of damage. And if you accidentally mill everything, you do have turn the earth. I tried to play without this. <laughs> it does not work. You will mill yourself out without having a win condition, which is a one green mana. Choose up to three target cards in your graveyard. The owners of those cards shuffle them into their libraries. So you just shuffle the world through back into your deck, essentially. This deck is really, really fun. I was going to make Golgari, but since we did mono black yesterday, uh, I'm trying to do some of the colors. And I'm gonna try to, hopefully we can get this, you know, can I, hopefully we can show how, like, this card is nutty. I'm gonna probably do a lot of decks with this one, because I think, like I said, you die very early to aggro nowadays, and this one can hopefully have you stay alive to the point where you can actually do something fun. So that being said, let's have some fun and play some janky decks in the bottom of Platinum. Thank God you can't derank from Platinum. Okay, opponent gets to go first. Hate to see that <laughs> when you're playing a jank deck. And, oh god, really? Really? So we're playing against Leyline. Leyline uh, is a deck I've been trying to make work with uh, the ancient Konokopia, but I got my ass handed every single game, so it's kind of funny of actually facing it now. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, Azusa. Yeah, it's been a brutal, brutal morning here in Missouri. Um, <laughs> hopefully we draw land next turn. Uh, yeah, I tried to make a deck work, and uh, sometimes you're hard-headed, uh, sometimes you're an idiot, like me, and um, you try real hard with a deck that doesn't work, and then you just get slapped over and over again, and now, I don't know, we're just trying out something basic. Hopefully we can get it to work. So, we can either, we can fetch our fetch land and use Azusa, or we just play in Shikarno Koya and fetch it this way. So I think that's a good idea, so we get it, we gain a life. So I think Genji Cornucopia is really cool, I mean it helps us um, survive. 
<laughs> it didn't survive in the previous deck though, but I, I blame the, the, the deck more than uh, uh, the card. Uh, so yes. Yes, 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 yes. And the opponent's slower than the previous Ice Age. Anyway, so it's been a horrible morning. Let's get an island. And, uh, yeah. Roping. Playing as magic, man. It's magic, man. Okay. So it's just being aggressive, which is fine. It's gonna loot. One eternity later. Uneventful. Okay, so we can play Nissa, we can play our males from theater, and we can fetch our um we can fetch our other ale for hopefully we get uh, it instead of another Nissa, which is always a problem. Or we play a uh, Forest and Azusa. But I think we can do both actually. Keep forgetting that Ancient Chronocopia is not just, you know, gaining a life, it actually is a mana rock as well. So let's do this and hopefully we get the right <laughs> creature. And go green. Man, these freighter outside. I really hope you can't hear them, man. They're really, really bringing my piss to a boil. Oh, thank god we got it. Sadly, we don't have enough to play it out and also use the ability. So I'd rather just go like this. And now we're going to have still not enough, sadly. An opponent's still roping us a little bit here. Cool. Yeah, so we don't have enough. The question here is, do you play out the Aftermath Analyst to just save the next turn? And I think it's better to save, if I'm honest. Because uh, I don't want to risk that he actually kills it, right? Because I play it out, it mills, and in response, he, that he can try to obviously kill it. And then we just... we get used to ability, essentially. And the Magic Man here is playing something interesting too, which is fine. I love my wars. Okay. If he attacks, I'm gonna... okay. Fair enough. I'm just gonna block with my Seeker. This doesn't really do anything, does it? Besides... no. No first trick or anything. So he must have a combo trick. Or he has nothing. Okay. So... We could just play the Virtue, but I think it's better just go with the Aftermath and use the Virtue, make the mana, because I think we're going to have enough mana to actually play the Virtue anyway. Let me use your ability. And yeah, this is how it works. If we witness his ability, maybe we get another one, which would be really cool. We do. And now we can play it out and do the same thing again, essentially, until we run out of basics. And as far as I know, there's no way for the opponent to... There's no deck that can destroy base, this many basic lands, so you're sitting pretty good. Then you just play out your Virtue, and you use Memory Deluge to find your World Soul's Anger, and then you smack the opponent for a million damage to the fast. Maybe I should just speed this up. Alright, so now we can play out the Virtue. And just... No, we have 4 mana. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Uh, here we got the World Soul. Doesn't really not matter what we pick here. I didn't even play lands. Yep. Let's end for... yep. And now we have 3, 6, 9... Oh, sorry. We have 15 lands. So that's um, 45 damage. Unless the opponent plays counter spells, but I don't think he does. Yeah, I mean... Good luck, 33 damage. Yeah, poke me. Ah, that's fine. 
almost to where I started. And yeah. Sure. And just do it 417. We get to go first, and this hand is not too bad. I mean, if I see Azusa and Aftermath and World Soul Rage, I mean, it's pretty good against Tony Morphio. Let's see if he can gatekeep you from Diamond. <laughs> Hopefully. And uh, keep in mind, like, World Soul's Rage, yeah, it's the way we finish him off. We can also just use it to ramp, so it's always nice to have it in the opening hand. So let's go with Azusa. I don't want to accidentally play out my Aftermath and then let him kill it. It would be very sad. So we're playing against Orzhov with some dangerous leaves. Okay, Orzhov Toxic, huh? Um, well, let's just go for it then. Hopefully it doesn't have a uh, go for the throat. One land. <laughs> just one. No, we have two. So what are you going to do? Do you have your wedding announcement? I have a wedding announcement. I'm getting married this August. It is in one... I'll give you a hint. It's in one country in Europe. Perfect. Alright, well... I don't think... Two, three... We can do it for four. Wait, one, two, three. No, we can do it for three. Because... Um, we can put the lands in our hand also in. Or do we just sacrifice this? Let's attack first regardless. And let's just do this, honestly. Shoot that. I don't want to die to toxic. And we take you too. And don't forget your hand. At least we're thinning the deck a little bit. And we have Buseyo if he plays any artifacts or anything dangerous. Who plays that? Okay. We have to kill it. We're not killing it. We can get rid of the Buseyo and just play out. Uh, nah, we keep the well tamed uh, explosion. And we just use this. And then keep on ramping. Sure. Great. Okay, so he's playing Amalia together with Blood Vial. Okay. Maybe that's a new way of going. Deluge. Can you find me something that costs more than six? Nope. <laughs> That's not good. Um, we can, uh, he's gonna hit me for a lot here, so... Um, we should go again, honestly. We can keep Broker's Hide up in our hand, so we can potentially toss it if we don't... Uh, want to toss other cards? Please, something that costs more. A virtue. Thank you, Jesus. Alright. We stabilized. Uh, there we go. And hey, we gained two life too with our uh, artifact, so we're good. Our ancient artifact. Okay, cool. I just want to find the answer. I found it. Uh, I think Aftermath is good here. Do we save the world soul? I think we do. We, we have enough to do this and uh, sacrificing it. I think we just leave it at that because I'm pretty sure he has uh, removal and I don't want him to hit my Nissa. So worst case scenario if he has removal from my aftermath analyst, 
we can use its ability to sacrifice it. Paratrooper against a strange, strange deck opponent. Strange deck to be in top platinum. Okay, my turn, and we should be fine here. So play you out. Let's go. Well, we got the wrong health, but it's fine. We don't need it. And that's enough. Uh, it's pretty good. Nice game. Okay, we get to go first, so we might actually rank up a little bit, and the hand is... It is slow, but we'll keep it against Gomes. He misspelled Gnomes. How embarrassing! Whenever you're ready, Gnomes. Alright. You out, and fetch myself my first land. His sleeves are a little bit unnerving, so I guess Mono Red here has finally come to slap him in the face. Okay, maybe an alternate Mono Red, or probably is it? Uh, yes. We could keep the fetch land for when we have Nissa in play to guarantee that we fetch our elf. So I think that's better actually. Obviously, yeah. Maybe. That means if. Oh, Gruel. That, of course, only works if he doesn't have a lightning strike, you know? But does he? Nope. That's something strange. Ooh. To Azusa or not to Azusa? That's the question. I think we just go with Nissa here, if I'm honest. And pray that it doesn't have Latin and Strag. Okay. Let's block here. Okay. Um, so land, Azusa land. I mean, the... It pays for itself, essentially. Yes. Okay. Hmm. You just world soul here. you two and use the mana to play out our aftermath or deluge honestly it doesn't really matter Let's see if you find a thing uh, nothing good well number two I guess it's all right that's a pretty productive turn the problem with this deck is that it is a bit exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of clucking. Ren? Oh it's been a it's been it's been a minute since I've played Ren. Sadly, ill timed explosion does not hit planeswalkers. What do we do? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have enough for just playing a Virtuum. We could also just Aftermath Endless, and just keep getting lands. Well, that was two fetch lands at least. Let's do this first, because we didn't play land. Perfect. Use your ability. Mm. 
No. I misclicked that. That was my mistake. Uh, we're one land short. How embarrassing. out. Uh, yeah, we can do this, yeah. We can have to, we can have no mana to do this, yeah. We can do this again. And we can play Deluge. Try to find our anger of the world soul. I was thinking of using the other deluge, but it's better, thank you. And there we go. Alright, one mana short from doing another deluge, it's fine. I will just kill him next turn. I mean, we have a little bit more mana than the opponent, I'd say. Poison Dart Frog. I don't know what's going on here. It's not enough to get me close to where I was when I started this game. Whenever you're ready, Gomes. Thank you. You out, since we are playing an ancient cornucopia deck. And yeah, let's just kill him. Let's be precise. Gain to life, please, if it's allowed. Yeah, I agree, it's pretty nice. What did you say? And that's it. Easy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. All right, so what can I say about the deck? It's really, really fun to play. Uh, Ancient Cornucopia worked <laughs> relatively fine, but I think we'll try something new tomorrow. Maybe Simic or something else. Besides that, it's a very solid deck, this thing. I mean, God, these freighters are so loud. Hopefully it's not going through the microphone. The World Soul deck has been popular for a while now, uh, and I think Ancient Cornucopia can help you survive against aggro. Then again, we did get our ass handed like, when we were playing the Leyland, so I don't know. It's a fun deck. Uh, I made it a little hasty now. I'm gonna run and pick up my fiance. And yeah, uh, that being said, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like, subscribe, and. Have a good fucking day!